This saw that I have my hands on right here is the Steel MS500i. Steel is playing around with this name, I for innovation and I for injection. This is the world's first chainsaw without a carburetor. Think about that for a moment. It has a 20 inch bar and we've been able to spend the last few weeks testing the saw in different settings. And so I hope you're ready for another Swedish Homestead chainsaw review. Not too long ago, Steel came out with the MS-462. We made a chainsaw review of that saw. We were already very, very impressed. And something that Steel really was able to accomplish in that saw was the power to weight ratio, which is just incredible. Now, this saw is stronger and bigger than the MS-462. And it has an even better power to weight ratio than that saw. This saw still is aiming to a completely another market. It's, it's a completely different saw. They are not trying to compete with it. The MS-462 is in the 70cc um, range. This saw is in the 80. It has, I think, 79 point something cubic centimeters. And it is very, very powerful. The acceleration on this thing still compares it to a race car and I think it's a very accurate description of this um, machine. They moved this part of the saw in and so now it's supposed to just be um, able to move nicer. This kind of spinning effect that you have when the chain spins at full speed and you get these um, forces, t um, you know, pulling the saw in different directions, that is reduced and you really feel that in the saw. A center of gravity they have balanced it better yeah I would have to agree with that the acceleration is very good and when limbing uh, I feel even though it's a heavier saw it feels pretty good in the hand and rolls nicely over the trunk so I would say that is correct and this um, was a hardwood tree it's oak so. yeah it's oak so the chain is a little aggressive but that's my own fault because I sharpened it yesterday. It cuts pretty nice and it is it you can tell it has a good power to weight ratio. Actually the best one I think right now in steel saws that they offer. You have these lines on top here and this way so that you can aim and the one big deal no carburetor you don't have a choke. You pump eight times then it's just starting the saw and you just have the stop button here. The saw is warm, you just pull it, it works well. I know that a bunch of people out there are really anti this whole software inside the chainsaw and I get that, I understand that, but we have to realize that this is something that has been in the chainsaws for quite a long time. This technology without a carburetor has been running in other machines from steel. I think if you think of these um, asphalt and, and concrete cutters, for example, steel has used that technology in there. And now it's coming to the chainsaws as the first manufacturer.
So the customer wants us to cut um, the birch wood in one meter length. It's a good way to for, for me now to test the steel MS500i um, to get a uh, you know to get a feel for the torque acceleration all of that uh, it's a strong saw and it should cut through this real nicely like you saw already my brother do It is a heavy saw, let's not joke around. This is a saw for professional users, it's a saw, and to use Steel's own words, for tech freaks, people who love this kind of innovation. Personally, I believe one reason why all chainsaw manufacturers will be heading this way is also that they're trying to reach the government um, exhaust levels that they are required to um, keep on these saws. So, um, while I don't know all the reasons why they um, go for this innovation with uh, out a cab carburetor with the injection um, It is pretty cool and if you are into this stuff, I think this is a really good saw <laughs> What they have done with the light bar is just to make the um, entire weight and balance of the saw better they cut out a piece in the middle of the bar and replace it with a lighter material. It's a lot of weight that you get rid of on these big chainsaws. It's super easy to open up here just look at they have angled this is the air filter again they've made it much finer they've put it at an angle to just fit it better um, could take it apart more if you wanted to but um, this was already we talked about this um, new air filter that's supposed to make your engine last much longer in the video for the MS 462 so super nice product here you have um, the decompression valve here um, just one turn and you can lift this entire section off of the saw as well even though the saw is an incredibly powerful saw and it is heavy, but it has an amazing weight to power ratio. It might not be the saw that you would want to put on a chainsaw mill, for example. It's not steel's biggest saw, but it is steel's most expensive saw. Whether or not this is a saw for you, I think you need to decide yourself. We have had our hands on the 462 and on this one, and it's definitely an amazing saw, amazing power for this weight and this size. But it is a saw for professional use. It won't be the all-round homesteading chainsaw that you will keep. It's definitely something where steel once again has set a new standard for um, saws. You need to decide for yourself. Um, if you do felling, if you uh, want a saw that is just there right away, if you want to test this without the carburetor, if, if you want this amazing power to weight ratio, if you walk around all day with the saw and, and this really matters to you, and you need this extra power that the 462 maybe can give you, I think this is a good option even though it's fairly expensive. Hope you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you in the next one and don't miss the video that's airing at the same time as this video to check out the Swedish Iron Horse and see the entire project where we filmed the saw. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so and watch the other forestry videos. I see you. Bye bye.